Hi everyone, welcome to Murga Creations. Today I will share with you four Christmas DIYs. I have three angels and a Christmas tree for you. This video is dedicated to my dear mother who sadly passed away just over a week ago and it has been kind of a therapy for me doing this craft thinking of her she loved angels so stay tuned for this For my first DIY, I will make an angel. The first angel by using this the slightly thicker piece of paper. Just roll it into a cone like you see me do here. Close it with some hot glue and cut off the excess so it will stand up straight like that. I have this scrap piece of uh, fabric that I will cover my coning. It's white like angels, normally white shiny creatures. So I just cut it to size and then I will hot glue it into place. This video is also part of the Hello Winter Challenge hosted by Tammy at the Rusted Willow and Ellie at DIY From House to Home and the guest host for this month is Lisa at Our Grey House. In my description you will find links to the channels along with a link to the playlist of this challenge for more winter and Christmas inspiration. I will tuck the excess, both at the bottom and the top, into my cone and hot glue it into place. Now I will attach a tiny little <laughs> wooden bead. Didn't have any bigger ones, but it will be a skinny, tall angel, this. Now I will take some thin white yarn and just hot glue it on top of uh, that wooden bead, the head of the angel, to create its long hair. The bottom part of my angel's dress I will cover with these white feathers. I put on two layers just hot glue them into place like you see me do here then i will take some cute lace ribbon to put around her waist like that also attach it with hot glue just using hot glue today and i take the same lace ribbon and put it around her neck but before i close it i will take some macrame cord that will be her arms and attach them to her neck her arms are slightly too long, so one of them at least, so I will try to make them the same length. And in her arms I will put a little wooden cutout angel, but first before I attach it I will paint it in my creamy gold color that I use so often just one coat on one side like that and set it aside to dry meanwhile I will make her wings and I have this uh, aluminum foil that I have from an, a platter that I purchased at Action our local cheap store here in France and I cut out the shape of a heart that will be her wings just flatten it a little bit and then I will take my crochet needle and just make markings in it like that but it's too bright shiny silver for me so I will take it out and spray paint it in a gold color and here it is looking pretty I just put some hot glue on her back and attach the wings just make sure none of her hair is in the way. She looks pretty, I think. Mm -hmm. 
Time to attach that little wooden angel and just put a dot of hot glue in her hand like that and attach it to the angel. And here she is, my beautiful winter and Christmas angel. I love how she turned out, very cute. For my second angel DIY, I will make a sock angel. I have a white sock that I will use and I take a small bag and fill it with some sand. Just close it properly and fold it and put it in the sock. And then I will take some polyfill from an old pillow and fill out the rest of my sock. Once I'm happy, I will take a piece of jute twine and tie the, my first knot where her neck should be and then another one a little higher up to form her head, like that. And then I will cut off the excess and she will have arms, so I will take this pipe cleaner and uh, fold it inside some white fabric just with some hot glue just roll it and then i will cut off the excess i will use this tablecloth as her dress so I will just see how much I need and cut it to size like that and then I need to fold it to have a nice finish and then I will fold the upper part that will be around her neck to make it easier to fit and get a nice finish like that. And I will attach it with some hot glue and then it's time for her arms. I will take the same fabric and cut the sleeves to size, tiny sleeves like that and I will put them right side to right side and glue them together with some hot glue like that and then turn them right side out and put them on her arms. If you're new to my channel, hi, I am Marika and on this channel I do lots of DIYs, thrift flips, trash to treasure, decorating, renovation of my home, some pottery, some painting, anything creative really. Please join me, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and join my YouTube family. My sock angel needs some hair as well, so I take some thicker white yarn that I had on hand and just fold several, several strands of yarn. And when I'm happy, I just hot glue it onto her head like that. Once I'm happy with the result, I will give her a trim so she will look even prettier and I will spend some time brushing her hair untangle all the little strands in the arm like you see me do here to make her hair look more like hair and not pieces of yarn she had a little too much hair in her face so I just make her a little hairdo like that just hot glue it on the back of her head then i will put on tiny black buttons as her eyes and some more lace around her neck 
looking cute and then she needs a halo just a metal curtain ring that i have spray painted gold now for her wings they will look like this and what I'm using here is the rim of my aluminum platter that I used for my first angel wings in my first project. So I cut a piece to size and then I will just cover it with some gold ribbon. And once I'm done, I will attach the very end with some hot glue. I will put her hair to the side and uh, attach that angel wing with some hot glue on the top and on the bottom and I will do the same with the other wing. My angel is almost done now. She needs something to hold on to. And I have this heart that I had made of another project. It had a hole there, so I just covered it with some hot glue. And then I will paint it in my creamy golden color, just on the front and the edges. And then I will hot glue it onto her chest like that. And then I will hot glue the arms onto the side of that heart as well so it looks like she's holding it and here she is my little sock angel looking very very pretty i think i figured if you can do a sock gnome you can do a sock angel what do you think of the result cute as a button i think For my third angel DIY, I will take this wreath that I thrifted, it looks pretty as is, but I will make an angel to sit in the center there. So I will take this thin yarn that was really tangled, so I will not show you that process, but in the end I had enough to make a long tassel, so I just tie it at the top like that but before i tie my angel's waist i will take some macrame cord and put inside like you see me do here just tie a knot at each end it would look like a hand so i will have that inside and then wrap that final thread so it looks like a tassel or her waist in this case a trim the ends like that to have a nice finish and then she needs a head as well and I will just take my crochet needle and pull that those strings inside that wooden bead to keep it in place I will just put a dab of hot glue in that wooden bead on her waist I will put a piece of a gold ribbon just attach it with some hot glue like you see me do here and then I will duck tail the ends she looks pretty already but she needs some hair as well that thinner yarn again wrap it as much as I think I need and cut it to size and glue it onto that wooden bead her head I take some more of that aluminum foil and I will draw her wings just with the end of my crochet needle so I know where to cut and these will be a slightly different kind of wings you will see once I have cut them all out and once I am happy with the result I will spray paint them in a gold metal color
now I'm making a tiny little bow to go on top of my heart wreath just folding uh, a couple of uh, gold ribbons like that and then fluff them up to make them look pretty and then I will just put some uh, metal flowers I think it is it could be snowflakes couldn't it uh, just in the center but before I put it on I will put on a hanger like that and I will also put on the angel before I put on that bow My angel wings are now gold and I just put some hot glue on her back and attach them put her hair into place like that she looks very pretty but she needs a halo as well and I had some golden string that I just put in a circle and hot glue onto her hair and a bow around her waist and then I take that excess thread to attach her to that wreath and then that bow and she is ready well almost ready she also needs to hold one of those wooden cutout angels i just need to paint it in my creamy golden color like you see me do here wait for it to dry and then attach it to her hands like you see me do here And here she is, looking very pretty. I love how she turned out. Beautiful angel. And now I have three more angels to watch over my mother. For my fourth and final DIY, I will make a Christmas tree out of this book that I had in my bookshelf and not using anymore. I'm just finding the center and then I'm counting pages, 80 pages to each side of the center. And I just put a bookmark at the end so I know where to stop. So here I have everything, 80 pages plus 80 pages. And now I am starting to fold my pages into a Christmas tree. So first fold is like that. Better you see what I'm doing than me trying to explain. And then you do a second fold into the center like that. And you have some overhang there, which you fold or you mark it like that and then you fold it onto the inside like that and you continue to do that with all the 160 pages it took me a while to do it but it was very meditative therapeutic if you will and when you come to half of it you think you have enough but keep going it will stand up even better when you have uh, plenty more pages. So here I am at just halfway and I think I'm almost done, but I just keep on folding. If you like this video and videos like this, consider subscribing and hit that like button as well. It will help my channel to grow and I can spend more time creating inspirational content for you my aim is to upload one or two videos per week so hit that notification bell as well so you are notified every time i upload a new video so it looks like this now the folding is done plenty of pages here and it stands up beautifully and now I will embellish the pages that are not folded 
with some decoupaging and I have these beautiful napkins that I will use with Christmas ornaments and also these with golden stars. So I start out with just tearing the top layer, the only layer that I want to work with, so it's very very thin and I take some just some water and trays where I want to tear my napkin like this and I do the same with the star napkins. I put some Mod Podge on the page and put my napkin into place like that and then I put on more Mod Podge on top of that napkin to smooth it out. I don't mind wrinkles on decoupage but uh, not too much so I want it nice and smooth and on the top there I will put that star napkin as you see me do here. I don't worry about any overhang at this point I will take care of that once my napkins have dried completely and now they have dried and I just take my sanding block and take off the excess and now I have my stencils that I will put on. They look a little bit like snowflakes, I think. So I will just dab some white paint onto the corners there. And once I'm done with these white snowflakes, I will put them on the upper corners. And there I will have some gold paint that I'm just dabbing on with the sponge. Now I'm taking my creamy gold color and I'm dry brushing the ends of the book pages that I've just folded into my Christmas tree to make it shine. And I will do the same on the ends of the remaining pages that are unfolded. I have a cut out wooden star that I'm painting with my creamy gold color on both sides that I will put on the top of my tree but first I will attach some ribbons. I start out with some rustic jute ribbons and then some gold ribbons like that and just twist them around my finger to get them curly like that and then attach the wooden star on top and I'm done here it is my beautiful Christmas book tree and I also had a 3d sticker Merry Christmas that I put in place as well I think it turned out beautiful so tell me what do you think of my creations today did you have a favorite let me know in the comments. You know I love to read your comments. It makes my day. Now it's time to head on over to my description box and hit that link to the playlist of this challenge for more winter and Christmas inspiration. Just click and enjoy. Thank you so very much for watching. See you soon again in my next one. Until then, take care. Bye.